Hello friends, I'm Father Linus Mviri of the Congregation of Holy Cross. And welcome to our third Sunday reflection. It's actually the second last Sunday of the year. Parables are open-ended stories. They are known to explanations of Christian doctrine. But parables have their inner truth. They help us to probe the heart and indeed our behavior. Last Sunday we heard Matthew tell us to remain watchful, vigilant for the coming of the Lord. For we neither know the day nor the hour. The readings implored us to be wise, to keep our faith, hope, and love, ready burning to receive the Lord. This Sunday of the year of ordinary time, we hear the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents um, told by Jesus is urging us to be ready for the master's return. The talent was an ancient Roman coin of great value. And precisely because of this parable's popularity, it became synonymous with personal gifts which everyone is called to develop. In fact, the text speaks of a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. The man in the parable represents Christ himself. The servants are the disciples and the talents are the gifts that Jesus entrusts or entrusted to them. These gifts, in addition to their natural qualities or abilities, represent the riches that Christ Jesus has bequeathed to us as a legacy so that we may make them productive, to use them for the service of our neighbors. These gifts are the word, the faith, the sacraments like baptism, the Eucharist. They represent an important epoch. So there is no time like the present. Now is the important time. Now is the time to use the words of Jesus in the gospel. When we, when we are either good and faithful servant or wicked and lazy servants, that the future judgment, good and faithful or wicked and lazy, all depends on the now. How we serve now is very important in our life. The future reward, to use the words of Jesus in today's gospel, come share your master's joy, or throw this useless servant in the darkness outside, depends on how we serve now. Jesus said they are distributed to each according to his ability. And therefore, each servant received the right number of gifts or talents to match his ability. Not too many in order that talents would not go to waste unused, and not too few in order that the servant would not be frustrated with his untapped abilities. Friends, the Lord expects diligence in using the gifts we have. It is up to us to figure out what is best with what we've received. We are not expected to produce the same fruit like our neighbor. What we are expected is to produce fruit for the kingdom. What are you producing? Are you up to the game of being a good servant, a good steward, or are you just a lazy, useless servant? How do we use our talents and gifts to serve our neighbor? Remember, the reward is well done, 
good and faithful servant. Come share your master's joy. Tap your abilities. Serve the Lord. The Lord be with you.